Hi there! I'm going to teach you how to turn your vector drawing into a 3D augmented reality filter. Before that, let me introduce myself. I'm Cyrene Kiamko and I'm an augmented reality artist. I create art in augmented reality. I think augmented reality is fascinating in a way I can tell my story, but it also allows others to tell their own story with it. My augmented reality lenses have gathered over a billion views and shared millions of times around the world. I also love working with brands to create immersive content that pull the audience in and encourages them to share their experience. Augmented reality is definitely part of the future of storytelling. Let's make an augmented reality creation. Let's start in Adobe Illustrator. I have the Tonga logo over here and we're just making vector drawings of what we want to design. We're designing glasses today. After we have a design that we're satisfied with, like this one, we're going to save it as an SVG. Now we're going to take that SVG file and import it into Blender, which is a 3D editing program. Here's our glasses imported in Blender. And what I'm doing is just adding dimensions to it, making it pop out and giving it volume like glasses should have. And once we're done with giving our glasses some volume, we're going to save it as an FBX. Now let's choose our augmented reality platform. There's three main ones for the three social media, which is Snapchat, Instagram, and TikTok. The first one is Lens Studio, and it's to create augmented reality lenses for Snapchat. Then we have Effect House, which is to create community effects for TikTok. And last is Spark AR, which is to create for Instagram and Facebook. Today for this demo, we're going to use Spark AR. We're going to start with a blank project. I'm going to right click on here and add a face tracker. So face trackers track the face. So any object inside this folder will be tracked with the facial movements. Now let's import the glasses that we just created to Spark AR. We're going to put the glasses inside the face tracker folder and we'll tweak it just a little bit so it fits nicely on the face. Once it sits on the face, we're gonna add some color and material to it. We're gonna pause here to open up Photoshop to create a border. Then we can go back to Spark AR and import this in. And there you have it. We just created an augmented reality effect from the vector we just created. If you want to add interactions such as facial triggers, touch gestures, and animation, you can level up your filter by using the patch editor. Here's an example I made for Nickelodeon's Big Nate premiere. You can see what it looks like on the front end, what the users see, and this is what it looks like on the back end. Now the only thing to do is to hit that publish button and upload it on either Facebook or Instagram. Thank you guys for watching my tutorial and hope to see what you guys make.